What's up? It's D-Dubs here. I just wanted to touch on a topic of Trump saying that some of the immigrants are rapists and, you know, they want to present that like, you know, he's a racist. And basically what's happening is women that are coming over the border are being raped and some of them are being forced into prostitution. So, you know, they don't want to touch on that. If they touch on that, then that hurts the Democrats because, you know, it's really an issue. So they, don't, they want to turn it around and say, oh, you know, that he's racist. And they're putting subliminal messages in videos. I have a video on here, you can check it out, of when she was fainting, you know, Hillary was fainting, and in the background, they were playing subliminal messages. You know what I'm saying? That's witchcraft. So basically they're playing that and they're telling you to think about racial comments and things like that. Then they're saying, oh, the birther thing that Trump is talking about is racist. I mean, he didn't ask Obama to prove if he was you know, black or not, you know what I'm saying, so it's not racist, and I'm black, so, you know, I'm telling you this, it's to confuse you, so, you know, this is a little video on here, and I wanted you guys to check it out, it's kind of talking about how the women get attacked and jumped and raped, you know, coming over by other immigrants, and other people trying to dress up like they're, you know, immigrants trying to, trying to get over, and also, um, you know, we have people from, um, Muslim countries and stuff sneaking into Mexico and also sneaking over our border to get in, you know, so terrorists are able to get in through the border and You know this I lock my house at night to protect my family So I think that America should do the same and anyone that wants to come in my house has to knock and ask your permission to come in And I have to then give them permission. So why would we leave America's doors wide open for anyone to just walk in and come in? You know, so check out the video Zapato, ustedes son toallas sanitarias que se las ponen en los pies y la mujer pues creo que también lo usa. Estos son anticonceptivos, solución inyectable, pastillas, este suero. La mujer migrante, a mí lo que pasa por aquí, por, por esta región, y, y el 80% va a ser violado, entonces al menos se va protegiendo para no quedar embarazada. Estos balones empezaron blancos, grandes y reflejaban mucho la. And the at-risk population keeps getting younger. The number of unaccompanied Central American girls under the age of 18 apprehended at the U.S. border has skyrocketed. It's up 77% this year alone. Gabriel Garcia, a member of Vila's task force, regularly patrols La Arrocera. It's a notorious stretch known for kidnappings and attacks. Garcia says that some assailants will even dress up as migrants and then attack women. He showed us where, on his beat, it happens the most. This is the bridge where assailants attack migrants. They assault them here all the time. They always choose this specific point to intercept the victims, the migrants, for assault. In some cases, they will abuse the ladies who are traveling with a larger group of migrants. Along this stretch of the border, rape is so predictable, Garcia says, that women and teens actually plan for it. There have been times where women will take contraceptives beforehand, so if they become a rape victim, then they won't end up pregnant. The authorities believe the young women may have been smuggled into the United States from Mexico by sex traffickers who prostitute the women to large groups of migrant workers. Over the last few years, the police say that they have busted numerous sex trafficking rings in northern San Diego County. They, they take the, the ladies separate and the men later in, in a room. The ladies, I don't know where they go. They, they hurt the ladies? I think so. They rape the ladies? I think so. Excuse me, you come in in this place and, say, and the ladies say, no, 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 no. And nobody doing nothing because I know they have control. And I'm feeling so sad, but only you cry. The rape tree? The, <laughs> the rape tree is a particularly barbaric little game some of the coyotes play. 
and once they get uh, their groups over on this side of the border they'll take the better looking girls and they wander them off from the group and they, they'll rape them and then the big thing is you make the girls hang their panties on the tree I've heard horrible things about what coyotes do, you know, to the people that they're bringing over from rape trees to <laughs> abandoning the people, you know, midway because they're weak. Oh my God. Um, that's horrifying in the first place. But we also, I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of underwear hanging in a tree, you know, but I never know what that means. The coyote from the next block there, he comes down to see how many panties you got. It's a trophy tree. That's a story that we're starting to hear nowadays from the Minutemen, that they take pictures of trees with panties on them and, and somehow they know of the story where that means a coyote rapes the women that he's carrying across it. I mean, it's good to know that that's possibly what we're seeing out there, but yeah, I've seen that. And the blood stained ground around them and then they're just, I'll never get over it. And there's just never been any evidence from our our own research and documentation talking to migrants that that's actually a reality. We got a this too tough. We got a young lady. She's uh, very scared. She's got water <laughs> food. <laughs> Says she's all right. She's with a group <laughs> of tents. She's been out here long. That border patrol <laughs> know that. So you know, she needs some help. ¿Quieres quedarte aquí?